Since his rise to power through a military coup in 2022, Ibrahim Traore has made significant changes in the government and economy of Burkina Faso as a whole. Applauded by others and the people of Burkina Faso as an exemplary leader, he has since made an effort to stabilize the nation and ensure the greater good of others. In a recent cabinet reshuffle of December 2023 being the fourth already in his tenure, he replaced various key officials in the transitional government notably, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Mining, and the Minister of National Education among others. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on notifications to remain updated. Captain Ibrahim Traore carried out a partial reshuffle of his government, notably concerning the head of diplomacy, according to a presidential decree. Under this decree, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Olivia Ruamba, in office since March 2022, before the arrival in power of Captain Traore, gives way to Karamoko Jean-Marie Traore who was until now in charge of the regional cooperation. Olivia Ruamba former Minister of Foreign Affairs was appointed by Interim President of Burkina Faso, Paul Henri Sandogo Damaba on March 5, 2022 as part of the transitional government following the January coup. She was installed in Ouagadougou on March 11, 2022. In her speech upon taking office, she said, Dear collaborators, I refuse to be traitors, we will refuse to be traitors and we will accomplish this mission with abnegation. She declared that the transition to democracy by the military junta was realistic and was against imposition by the ECOWAS. Does her position as Minister of Foreign Affairs appear as a threat to the new government that Captain Traore seeks to build? This question has remained on the lips of some who heard the news of the dismissal on Sunday, December 17. No official reason was given for this reshuffle. Other portfolios are concerned. At National Education, the Secretary General of the Government Jacques Austin Dingera is appointed while Yakuba Zabra Guba replaces Simon Pierre Bussum at mines, in this country which mines gold, zinc and manganese in particular. In July, Parliament modified the mining code allowing the government to use part of mining taxes to support security and development efforts in regions affected by jihadist attacks. Gold production in the first nine months through September decreased by 4% from a year earlier to 41.9 tons, according to government data. That was after output in one of Africa's biggest producers declined by 13% to 58.2 tons in 2022, according to the data. In addition, the Minister of Communication and Government spokesperson, Jeannie Manuel Aodrogo was elevated to Minister of State. Other key positions, defense, finance, security, of the transitional government formed in October 2022 by the President and Captain Ibrahim Traore, who came to power a month earlier, do not change their attribution. Burkina, which experienced two coups d'état in 2022, has been caught since 2015 in a spiral of jihadist violence that appeared a few years ago and which extended beyond their borders. Over the past seven years, the violence has caused more than 17,000 civilian and military deaths, according to NGOs, and more than 2 million internally displaced people. Ibrahim Traore's repeated cabinet reshuffles are seen by some as a means to build and solidify a government that shares his vision for the nation of Burkina Faso. What do you think about Captain Traore's frequent cabinet reshuffles? Will they be beneficial to the people of Burkina Faso? Please let us know what you think in the comment section by leaving a review. Please do well to like the video and share with your friends too. See you in our next video and in the meantime, stay safe.